Today I'm going to show you how to make this poodle skirt happy birthday card and this is inspired by my daughter Erin who will be turning 10 this year and she just loves the 50s. So let's go ahead and get started. Slide this to the side. Your card base is going to measure 10 inches by 7 inches. Set that aside for a moment. The first two layers, the black cardstock layer measures 6 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters and then the pink layer measures 6 and a half by four and a half. This pink cardstock was taken from the die cuts with the view stack, which is this stack right here. It's called the jewel colored cardstock stack, and so that's where I got the hot pink from. So first I'm going to show you how I made the skirt. It came from the paper doll dress, dress up cartridge, and if you turn to page 56, you'll see this cute little cape. And that's how I made the skirt. I went ahead and cut out the first layer, which is this polka dot paper, which I cut at six inches. And then I cut another one in the white cardstock, which I cut at six and a quarter inches. I'll set this aside. So to achieve the skirt look, I took the white cardstock and I just used some scallop scissors and went ahead and just cut around the, the base of it, just like this. And that gave me the cute little petticoat. I'm going to set those aside for a minute. And here's the one that I have already cut all the way. And we'll go ahead and glue this down. I'm just going to put a little, bit of, a little bit of adhesive on this one. And we'll line her up. A little bit easier to do up in the air. Go. And I'm going to take my scissors and trim off this extra white. And this will help me know where to cut the top part of the cape off so that this will look like a skirt. I'll go ahead and pull out my paper trimmer. Line this up. Right about there. Move the top piece, and it looks like I didn't quite get enough. I'm going to do just a little bit more. There we go. That looks right. So once you have your skirt ready to go, we want to attach our poodle. And this is the cute little poodle that I made. And she comes from the Nifty 50s Cricut cartridge. If you turn to page 29, You'll see the image and you just follow the steps to put her together. First you'll cut out the poodle in black and she's cut, oh I told you three inches. She's cut in three inches. Then you'll cut the pink layer and put that on and then you'll cut the white layer and put the white layer on and when you've done that you'll have this cute little poodle. So she's going to kind of go side a little bit. I wanted her leash to kind of hang off. I actually pushed her as far as I could. Just a little bit, so about right about there is kind of where I want her to go. And I'm going to go ahead and attach her. I'm actually going to use my zig pin to do that. You could use your ATG gun, but to do some of the smaller details, like the leash, I felt the zig pin would work better. So again, let's put her on there. That right there looks good. Firm pressure. And then to show you how I made the belt that goes on the top, I just cut a piece of white card, white card stuck to fit on the top. And you can just kind of wing it, just measure it as you go. And then I stuck the sequins on. When I put the sequins on, let me show you where I got those from. It's actually just a big, huge craft pack. And on a rainy day, or <laughs> we could say you're bored, just have them divide them for you and I have this cute little bead container that we sorted them into. And then when I stuck them on, I'll just show you what I did. I just used a glue dot. Stuck it on the glue dot, pulled it off, and then stuck it on my paper. Or my finger, just to show you how I did it. Okay, so 
Before we attach our poodle skirt, let's go ahead and do our ribbon that goes on the top. And with the ribbon, there's also a cute little record that goes on there. And this is what the record looks like. And the record is cut from the nifty 50s cartridge as well. And you can find it on page, I believe it's page 40. Yep. And it's this image right here. So you'll cut out the record and then you'll cut out the little piece that goes on the top. And I cut this out in gray. So let's go ahead and put that together. And here's my little zig pin. Go ahead and line that up. I cut a point onto my ribbon. I'm going to thread that through the hole. Oops, make sure that's really down good before you try to mess with the ribbon. I kind of want that to go just about in the corner. So to adhere the ribbon, we'll go ahead and use some scotch tape. down and a piece of scotch tape for the other side double check that looks good so before I attach actually we can go ahead and attach this to our card base now which again was 10 by 7 piece of cardstock, so this will fit into a 5 by 7 envelope. Go ahead and put some glue, ATG gun, on the back of our card layer. Whoops. what I just did. Okay, everybody makes mistakes. Okay, will you grab me a new card base, please? So before, Kayla's going to grab me a new card base because I, um, if you noticed, I actually attached that upside down, which isn't going to do us any good. And so while she's grabbing me a new card base, I'm going to show you how I did the happy birthday. Oh, she's faster than I thought she'd be. Um, so <laughs> let's do it again. So again, there's my card base, and we're going to make sure we actually have it facing up the right way. Center it. You know, I like the other side better. I'm going to flip it. Attach it. Making sure that it opens correctly. <laughs> and then we kind of know where our poodle skirt's going to be, but we forgot to add on our belt. So I'm just going to flip that over, line her up, and I'm just going to use a piece of tape. I'm going to trim it just a little bit so she'll fit better. Okay, and then I also I noticed I left the leash on and we want to go ahead and trim that off as well. There we go. And so this is going to go all about here, but before we attach that I want to show you how I did the sentiment. And I just went ahead and stamped it onto a white piece of cardstock, and I can kind of show you how I did that if you're curious. I used this Pinkalicious color box ink. Stamp the back of my image with the ink pad. When there's plenty of ink, I'm just going to quick, quick, quick little huff and line up my stamp. Firm pressure. I have my image inked. 
and then I just cut it to the size that I want it to be. Now this may not be the same for you because it depends on the size of sentiment that you use, the size of square that you're going to cut. So I'm not going to bother giving you the dimensions because it would just be different unless you happen to have the same Stampin' Up! stamp, which I think is retired. But anyhow, then I used my scallop scissors again to cut this edge, and then I used a small 1 16th inch hole punch to make the holes. So I'm just going to flip this over and put a little adhesive on it. Line it up. And before I stick that on, I want to kind of make sure I know the placement of my poodle. Poodle skirt's not going to go right about there, I think. So we can flip this over and go ahead and attach it. Nobody puts it on the back here. That looks good. And then I want to pop dot this up. I'm going to flip it over. One on each corner, one in the middle, and one up near the top. We'll peel the backing off. Oops. And let's line up our skirt. Kind of want her to tilt just a little bit. Let's peel over here. That looks good. And we are finished. And who wouldn't love to get that cute little happy birthday card with a poodle skirt on it? If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Thank you.